G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, this is the, the latest stealing engine I've been playing around with, building up. No plans, just got on configuration that I know does work as far as displacement sizes go and strokes. And I've had an attempt to get it running this morning. I attempted a while back and it didn't go, so I did some more modifications, changed the CPU cooler, got a better one there, and put a bit of insulation in here, and yeah, overall, it should go, but we're not there yet. It is so close. I mean, you'll see in the following video footage that it is so close, and it will actually run, but not the way it should run. And uh, until you can get it running with that metho pot, it's not a success. And, you know, that's the way it is with these things. They have to be efficient enough to run without any excessive heat. So, if you want a bit of entertainment and you want to kill some time and you're a Sterling fan, watch the following footage and you can see the trials and tribulations of trying to get these things to go. Okay, let's move on. Originally, this was heavier here, I machined that back and I insulated the back of the stainless steel displacer cylinder, but I might have to shorten it. I mean, it comes right back to here, so this, I'm not sure how well this cooling is going to work. No, I'm not happy about the way the, the stainless and the cooling interact. I really need more insulation I think. And then of course on the power piston side I've changed the CPU cooler completely. I've got this one which is bigger, better and yeah, hopefully it'll do the job. I've modified this end here so that it mounts differently. Spent a bit of time on it and I opened up the cross gallery. All the galleries are now 4 mil diameter, which is what the other one has got, and that runs like, like, like a treat. So let's see what happens. It's the same timing as the other one, 90 degrees. So. Ooh. Hmm. Give it a bit more heat, and it's got potential. Got a good compression. Let's just uh, pull this back a bit on the timing, advance it up a bit. That's 90 at the moment, 90 degrees. We'll make it uh, about 100. Try that. I mean, it doesn't take much to make these things run or not run. Just up the displacer. No, that's too much on it. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Trying. This is why you've got to make this displacer shaft adjustable on these. No, not as good. Come back a bit. It's funny how one design will run, another one won't. Right, we'll go back with this a bit. Ooh, yes. So close, so close. So 
Let's get the sweet spot there. That's where it nearly goes, but not quite. side thrust off these bearings maybe. Ah! Yes! Yes! side thrust off the bearings and yeah, so you're nearly there. Back that way. Bring it back a bit. Yes, that too much side thrust on the bearings was causing the problem. Hmm. Uh, this is what makes Sterling engines so interesting. They are so bloody finicky. You've just got to get the formula right. That could be too bloody much. thing. It's getting so I think it's getting overheated here now. We've got this end pretty right. The timing is about right. We put the gas torch on it, it will run, I guarantee it. This is what you see people do, oh look my burner sterling engine and it runs. They've got a bloody butane torch on it, but I'll just show you how a bit of heat in the right place can make it look like a success even though it's not a success. Well, I'll give it a bit of a, a bit of a heat.
so it's running I mean it might run it in a bit too but that's that's not the way you should do it <laughs> it's funny if it keep going wouldn't it but it won't, it's going to slowly run out of puff So that's the thing you, with these projects, you know, you've got to keep playing around. And I think we had a metho on the burner anyway. So we're nearly there guys, I've just got to do some more work on this thing. I've got the timing right. It's uh, I've cut down the friction, the drag and the crank, crank end here. That was just too much pressure, side pressure on the bearings, you know, that's all it takes. As I said, you've got to make these displaces adjustable and then you can get the, the clearance just, just right. Power piston's okay, that's got a, about a mil clearance. This is cold. This is cold. This is good. This is what you're going to This is why they overheat normally. But in this case, there's not, not, there's not enough heat transfer going on here, not enough de heat differential. That is, whoa, that's hot. So I've got to shorten the displacer cylinder so it only goes to about um, here insulate it and then that will give the the cooling the cold side more chance to do its thing we'll get there it's just a matter of trial and error with these things and you know that's what makes it interesting you know it's lying by the city of pants here and uh, you know <laughs> It's a good test to see how good you are at machining, you know. I mean, this is all built up from not from nothing, except for this, of course. But then we had to modify that, do a bit of milling, mill out the, the fins. So, yeah, you know, it's a good project. So if you think you're a hot shot on a lathe, try making up one of these and see how good you really are. Okay, that's it from me. Stay tuned, we'll get this motor going at some stage, but a bit more work in, involved. Okay, see ya, cheers.